everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tori if you're new here and today I am going to show you a what's for dinner. So I'm taking our meals of the week and showing you how to make them. All of the recipes will be typed out in the description box down below. I'm excited because this video is in collaboration with two of my good friends here on YouTube. One is Taylor from Taylor Elmore. I will link her channel and video down below. And the other is Tiffany from Small Town 6. I will link her channel as well. If you are new here, hi, hello, my name is Tori. We make videos three to five times a week. I mean, it's the summer now, so there might be more, but it's all about life on a budget here in Northern Colorado. I have two toddlers that I absolutely adore, so you may find some day in the life content. We are preppers, uh, we prepare for anything, so if you like that kind of thing, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, we're gonna get right into the video. So oh, I am lucky enough to have family that um, likes to try my, um, I guess we can call them unique meals. So these are plantain fries with some chili and cheese on top. And then I topped them with green onions. They were so filling. We had salad on the side and some people had soup, uh, but it was just delicious and unique. So I'm gonna show you how I put these together. So we have our oven preheated to... Hey, this is a big torn layer. Yeah, 425. Can you say a, that? A kind of like a torn Can you say 425? 425. Good job. So we have it at 425. We're doing fry shapes here. We're going to coat in olive oil, season salt, get that in the oven, and... I'm, I'm making french fried bananas banana french fries except for a plantain right um we're gonna do it a chili cheese way Just thinking about doing it like a nacho way that's another option another way to go with this the possibilities are endless i think these crisp up a little better they're cheaper and i would not say that they're necessarily better for you but it's just a nice change up um to get because we eat a lot of potatoes and I don't, I would not say we get sick of them, but I mean, it's just fun to There's change string things on you. up. There's a string on you. Oh no. Ew. I see a string. <laughs> yeah. So, um, no, I would not say that they're sweet, especially I when help you. putting something savory on it. I need and to help you. You just got to get them seasoned up the right Let way. Let me tell you something, Rayo. What would you like to tell the video? Uh, <laughs> I want to help you. Hmm. You want to help? You are helping. You're, I want to help you. You're providing comedic I'm relief. going to help a Rayo. All right. Coating in the seasonings, all that. I'll see you after we top it off. I'm going to um, bake at 425 for like 20 25 minutes and flip halfway. Feel like nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it, so where I can find myself. All right, here it is ready to go, and then I'm gonna put the dressing on top of it, and I'll probably share with Delilah, but Maya likes to have his own plate, so this is gonna be delicious. You could put green onions on here, you could leave it as is, but yummy, plenty of protein from the quinoa, got everything that we need. So I hope you enjoyed this one, it's a little different. 
Okay, this is a meal that I make every time company comes over. It is a Old Bay sheet pan meal, or you could use Cajun seasoning. So I always do a bean with the veggie portion of this. I am doing chickpeas, corn, onion, and bell pepper. If you are new here and didn't know, I am plant-based while my family eats the standard American diet. I don't like to make it complicated. I always eat the same thing my family eats probably 95% of the time. There are times that I actually crave salad and my family does not. So those are, those are rare, but um, I'm putting some olive oil on here and I'm just using the Kinder's all-purpose seasoning. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but I mix everything together and lay it flat as best as I can. I am baking at 400 for around 15 to 20 minutes. It depends how crispy you like this. And then same goes for the fish and meat portion. We are using shrimp and scallops and we are going to use andouille sausage. I'm using Cajun seasoning on that and then a little bit of olive oil and I am popping that in the oven but I do like to squirt some lemon on before I do so and then when it comes out of the oven I do that as well. I always like to serve this with some sort of potato. We could do french fries, mashed potatoes, baked potato, but we all voted and we wanted potato salad. So on the bottom here I have diced onion, red steamed potato, I threw in some dill. I did throw in about a probably half of an apple and I diced that finely just for some sweetness and a little bit of tang. And then I'm going to put some mustard in here, salt, pepper, garlic, and then I'm using the Chosen Foods Classic Mayo. And I am going to chill that while everything cooks. Totally forgot to mention I added in some Greek yogurt just because I had to use it up. If you wanted to add that extra element to make it a little bit creamy and have that tang, you could. You could use sour cream, but it is not necessary. So I just wanted to add in that I did add some Greek style yogurt. And then here's the finished plate. I put everything on this tray when it comes to a uh, company coming over just because it's easier to serve everybody. So I brought this to the table. I served it with some fresh lemons and that potato salad. This was a crowd pleaser for everybody. I got super full on those chickpeas and just about everything. We served it with some bread, some herb butter. I did some um, pimento dip, which you will see here in a second on the side. And it was just lovely. And we got to watch the storm while we ate dinner. So it was a really nice time. Hey there, it's the next day. We are gonna make some pimento dip, but we're putting a different spin Hi. on it. Hello. Hi. Um, What else are we doing? We're putting some corn. Uh, um, in the dip, we have some baguette. I want to do fried green uh, tomatillos because we couldn't find any tomatoes at the store. And I think everybody else is doing baked chicken and burgers and all of that. So let me show you what we're making. All right, so we have three years of corn. We're just using maybe, maybe two, maybe one. We have a bell pepper, a little bit of lemon juice. I have mayo, the plant-based mayo by Simple Truth. I have a little bit of Greek yogurt. You could use sour cream. I have cream cheese, cheddar cheese, and pimentos. And then we're gonna do some green onions and some seasoning. So let me show you how I put this together. It's super simple. All right, so I have the corn, bell pepper, onion, salt, and pepper in here with just a little bit of olive oil I'm gonna put in here. I'm gonna saute that and then I will do the rest of the dip. We have the cheese. I'm gonna do half a jar of pimentos. I'm gonna put that in there just with a little bit of the brine. These make really great spice jars, so wash this and save it. Uh, and then we're gonna do half of everything, half cream cheese, half Greek yogurt, and half mayo. And then we will put in the corn, pepper, and onion blend. So right now we have the cream cheese, the mayo, pimento, sharp cheddar cheese, and then we have the Greek yogurt. So mix that together and then the corn will go in. Salt and pepper, I'm gonna do a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder, 
and Where call it corn? good. Now I'm adding in the corn, pepper, onion mixture. I'll do some garlic. I don't think I have any fresh garlic, but that's okay. All right, next up is gonna be this sandwich. It's pretty epic. I've seen it all over the social platforms. I think, I'm not on TikTok, but I can see it on Instagram Reels, and it's a Granita, Granada. Sand, it wouldn't be Grenada, would, I hope not. Um, but anyways, it's a hoagie roll toasted. And um, like I said, I eat plant-based, so I'm using tofurkey. That is the best substitute I have found. But essentially, it comes down to this lettuce. So all you have to do is dice your lettuce nice and fine. There's not a very special way to do this. You can do it in your own way. I love sandwiches. They are my favorite food ever. Um, <laughs> my sister growing up would always make fun of me because it um, because of Friends, if you watch that. But Ross would always say, my sandwich, my sandwich. But yes, if you're new here, we, we do story time every now and again. But what I did was put in some lettuce, some dill pickle, a little bit of vegan mayo, some Italian seasoning, garlic, and then some olive oil and red wine vinegar. So I'm putting that mixture onto the bread. I'm using tomato from the farm stand, gouda and turkey on my kids, and then turkey on mine. This day people ate out and the kids and I ate in. It was amazing and delicious. Next up, guess what? It's another sandwich. They're my favorite. It is an open-faced BLT. You could use bacon for this if you wanted, but I'm going to show you how to do it with tempeh. This is how I do it. So I use the Light Life tempeh. You could certainly make your own. This is a soy product, so I do limit it, but it is nice every now and again to have this. So I'm going to cut this into bacon pieces, I don't know, um, like half inch little rectangles here. And then I'm going to marinate it with a little bit of soy sauce, olive oil. I do have some garlic powder in there and liquid smoke. And then I just put a splash of water and let that go while I cut up the vegetables. So I'm using cherry tomatoes from the farm stand. And then I am going to just put some garlic, salt and pepper in there with balsamic glaze. And I am serving pineapple on the side of this. I put the tempeh into my frying pan and kind of let it crisp up and let it get golden. And then I'm just using some sourdough toast and I put some avocado spread on there, arugula and spinach. I put the tomatoes on here and I ended up putting the tempeh on top. It was delicious, unique, and it hit the spot. Please comment down below if you love sandwiches as deeply as I do. <laughs> I apologize, the dishwasher's going, but um, I'm making some lasagna now, just so we can have it later on, and I'll show you some shots of it later on. So this is my lasagna, slash whoever else wants it, and then this is the classic. So we're doing meat sauce, ground beef, cottage cheese, and mozzarella with some lasagna noodles. And then for me, I'm doing ricotta, the Kite Hill. I'm doing the my favorite marinara. I'm doing some basil, and I'm chopping up finely all of these things, bell pepper, onion, baby arugula, and spinach, broccoli. Sometimes I put lentils in here, but honestly, I just want something basic, and I'm gonna make two big um, casserole dishes so we can freeze them for later. So lasagna dish for me too. I'm gonna get those together, and then I will bake them later on tonight and show you the finished product. I'm gonna show you I have the meat going. It's pretty oily, so I'm gonna drain that and then dump in the pasta sauce. And then over here I have the food processor. And what I like to do is just break up the broccoli and onion and pulse it a few times and I just add it to the sauces. It's just an extra flavor, extra way to get some I don't know, extra veggies in there. So I'll do this first and then I'll put in some of the baby spinach and arugula.
So I put a little of that mixture in here, the broccoli, greens, onion, and bell pepper. And you can see it doesn't really change the color that much in my opinion. Like you can't really tell flavor wise and the appearance of the lasagna kind of stays the same. And then I have everybody's over here, cottage cheese that I don't have ricotta, otherwise I'd use it. Um, and the kids actually didn't end up liking this brand, so it's perfect, it works for now. And then over here, I have the rest of the veggies I'm gonna put in here, uh, the homemade marinara with some, maybe a half of that jar. I have fresh basil here, and then I have ricotta. So that is mine. I'm gonna put it together. I'll show you how I do it, it's very simple. So I'm going to do the meat one first in this rectangle and then I will move on and do my veggie one in the kind of oblong pan. my friends that is going to do it for today's video make sure you go ahead and check out those other ladies in the description box down below let them know i sent you big shout to you taylor big shout to you tiffany i so appreciate you including me in this collab as always stay adventurous stay creative i'll see you next time everyone bye <laughs>